video. I'm here in a hotel room in the town of Puerto Vallarta in the west part of Mexico and today I'm actually going out to a really incredible beach. So we're gonna go for a long adventure. I'm gonna go on a boat trip. Let's head out to the taxi. I'm gonna take a taxi to the boat harbor uh, and then from there we're gonna get on the boat. It's a really cool area here actually by the boat marina. So for this trip that I'm gonna be going on I uh, will be paying 900 pesos so uh, 45 US dollars. I got on a bus that was taking me on the small highway and into one of the biggest boat marinas in this part of town. I had to walk through some security and I also paid for the boat ticket. The boat was going to take me to two islands called Marietas Islands. Now I am here about to get on the boat. Uh, here is the boat, really big boat. It's gonna be really nice to head out. I was finally on the boat and we were slowly going out of the harbor and out to the Pacific Ocean. We would get breakfast, lunch and also unlimited drinks on the way back from the island. I specifically wanted to go out to these islands to swim into a really famous cave. So for this boat trip that I paid for, uh, I asked the guy three times if the price that I paid includes uh, to swim into this really famous beach. And he said, yes, yes, no problem. And then uh, I got on the boat and uh, they said, you need to pay another <laughs> thousand pesos if you want to just swim into this little beach, which is around 50 US dollars extra just to swim into a beach on top of what you already paid. You already paid about 50 US dollars for this boat trip. We're not gonna be a time to break, you know? We're gonna do activities, a lot of activities, all the time. So the boat ride is actually gonna take two hours and 15 minutes and uh, we can barely see the land here anymore on this side. And you see, I've been going pretty far out. I was still in the very west part of Mexico and the destination for the day was the famous Marietas Islands, considered to be a world heritage site located just off of the coast of the town of Puerto Vallarta. We also got some breakfast here and we're gonna get lunch later and also I think as much as we drink. On the way we also saw some humpback whales further out that can be 15 meters long or 50 feet. So now we're about one hour out from the island and uh, here is Karen and Rebecca from uh, Calgary, right? Canada, right? Yes. Calgary. Calgary. <laughs> okay, they also came to Puerto Vallarta for a vacation. So we're gonna, after this, hopefully go snorkeling and enjoy this beautiful day. Vamos a ver qué tipo de delfines son. There's like hundreds of dolphins that are swimming uh, past the boat. They're really cool actually, it's like a whole group. It was interesting to see so many dolphins in one place. Finally, after more than two hours on the boat, I could see the Marietas Islands and the sun was also coming out again. We were a group of 50 people and the boat was parked next to the land area. There are no houses or people living on the two islands. It's very preserved and perhaps that's why you need to pay another $50 to swim in to this incredible cave. There is a big hole in the middle of the island and also a tunnel leading into the beach. If you look closely you can see the people inside. Unfortunately I have not brought any more money so I could not swim in to the cave this time. You can also see how the waves are coming in to the beach. So this beach that you saw is over here, unfortunately we cannot go there as I said, but instead we're gonna go uh, for some kayaking <laughs> and uh, paddleboarding. On the paddleboard outside the boat here. 
here really nice. Wah, wah, wee, wah. There were also some paddle boards and kayaks that you could use outside the boat. I could not see very far down the water, so I decided to go on a boat to a snorkeling area where they had taken a couple of people. Going snorkeling also, I'm getting a private ride here. I jumped in, but could not see that much here either. Here we have some kind of caves. It's not as cool as the cave I wanted to swim into with the beach, but it's pretty cool. Lots of birds here. So they left us here for like 30 minutes. It's so cold, so I had to go and swim to keep warm. Must be around 20 degrees, 70 Fahrenheit in the water. My camera was leaking a bit of water and we had been left for 30 minutes in the 70 degree or 20 degree celsius water. It was really cold in there. But finally the boat was about to pick us up again and take us around the mountain. We were on the way back but instead decided to go around the island and in to the other island behind the main island which is also a really cool place but a bit more flat with some beaches now we're gonna jump in are you excited Aye, yeah. Aye. Yo, 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 yo. who's excited, yo, yo, yo. excited. Yo, yo, yo. we jumped in again swam in to this island. It also had some really incredible views. We're here now on the island, some really cool beaches here and uh, the cliffs. Really 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 nice and untouched. I think it's a protected area so only uh, like day trips are allowed here. It's really cool. Really cool bird. I happened to stay a bit too long with the two friends I met earlier, so we had to hurry back to the boat, so we wouldn't miss the departure. We're back after the snorkeling, or after the trip to the island, now we're gonna get some uh, lunch here. For lunch we were getting hamburgers and chips and they would also serve drinks after the lunch. Got the food here, hamburger, really 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 good. Yeah, tequila. <laughs> we got some drinks, it's an open bar here so you can drink as much as you want. <laughs> Cheers! I'm starting to get a bit more warm actually after the swimming. I was so cold there for a while, but after the hamburger and the chips, I was feeling really, really good. Again. Puerto Vallarta again. Apparently this is uh, the third biggest bay in the whole world. It was the, the first time I've ever seen a whale jump. Oh uh, yeah. And I saw its full front. And the dolphins were also cool, I thought. Right? All the dolphins. The dolphin. Yeah, the pack of dolphins that and also cool. the beach. We are back. Here we have the super yacht again. Really, really nice. <laughs> Bye bye, thank you for coming. Bye bye. Dom back here in Puerto Vallarta. Lots of traffic here. Look, there's like four lanes. Two uh, lanes in every single uh, lane. <laughs> oh, I'm back from the bus here. I just uh, crossed the road. So many cars everywhere. <laughs> I came back from my boat trip and I wanted to speak a bit about uh, traveling, how to make it easier. 
you have to always use maps. I think that's the key and number one when it comes to uh, having an, a smooth travel trip and also obviously having a light bag. But uh, what I do, I always put a bookmark in my map. So I always know where I'm going actually, uh, where I live or if I'm about to go as this morning I went to uh, the boat marina. We're going up to the fourth floor now my friends, 428 is where I'm staying. We have some long steps to go up. Go up or I am back home my friends, I am back home. Very 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 great success. Should I do some pool tricks or not? I think we have lots of pool trick blockers here, unfortunately. Lots of pool trick blockers. There are too many people and security guards there. Look, too many security guards. Come along, come along with me and I ease your pain. Come along, come along with me and I ease your pain. Come along with me Come along, come along with me We're gonna take a shower now my friends Hello! Come along with me And I ease your pain And I ease your pain oh, So much steam this is the best hotel actually I've stayed in in Mexico for the price that I paid. The bed was good, good bounce in the bed. Good pressure in the shower and um, really nice view. So the exit from the hotel is like down here, really strange. We're gonna eat buffet here at the hotel, 220 pesos, you can eat as much as you want, about $10, it's gonna be very, 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 very good! So I'm here now by the boat marina, really nice view actually, you can see all, this, uh, all the boats and I also got the really really good food uh, buffet here. I finished the first plate in like two minutes, so good. Oh, my second plate is even bigger than my first plate, look, so much good chicken and fish. And <laughs> It's kind of dangerous actually to eat buffet. You just eat too much, you walk away, you feel like you're about to poop your pants or swallow. I swallow the bowling ball. Now we're here by the really nice yachts. Very nice. Oh, it would be nice to go and take a little nap on one of the yachts. That would not be a bad thing to do actually. <laughs> go and take a little nap, maybe have some champagne and call the worker there I want some more food more food please well we're gonna head back up to the hotel and take a little I want to rest a bit Sometimes it's dangerous to eat buffet, you eat too much. But thank you very, very, very much, everybody, for watching this video. And as always, if you liked it, please leave it a thumbs up, post a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Because in the next video, I'm gonna go to a really, really incredible place. And I also wanna reach 100,000 subscribers. So if you wanna help out, all you have to do is click the subscribe button below this video. Thanks again and see you next time. Please also when you subscribe to my YouTube channel, click the bell next to the subscribe button so you get notified every time I upload something.